Hello everyone, this is Josh from Canadian Luthier Supply and I'm coming to you today from my shop in Goddard, Ontario. And today I wanted to give you a video overview of our radius dishes and work boards. Uh, as far as I know right now, Canadian Luthier Supply is the only supplier in Canada currently offering uh, radius dishes and I believe that the design that uh, I've come up with here for radius dishes and work boards is uh, the best on the market today. All my dishes are made from a, a three-piece MDF hardboard laminate which makes the dishes extremely stiff and stable. Uh, if you look at dishes from some other suppliers on the market today you'll often see in the description that uh, they say the dishes need to be fixed to uh, another work board or something just to to keep them flat and stable and when I was trying to figure out what material I would use to make my dishes I wanted to come up with something that was uh, stable enough that it, it didn't need a backing board and it would hold a very accurate radius and I tested a variety of materials um, single layers of MDF different plywoods Xterra and ultimately I found that the three-piece MDF hardboard laminate offered the uh, the most stable blank for cutting radius dishes and workboards. Um, Canadian Luthier Supply also offers what I believe is the widest variety of stock sizes from a 12-foot radius right up through a 55-foot radius with lots of options in between. Uh, here on my table today you can see a couple um, standard 24 inch sanding dishes uh, one with the blue paper and one with the black paper I'll talk about the papers shortly and over here you see one of our rectangle work boards again we're the only supplier I know of offering something like this and the rectangle work board is uh, 22 inches long 18 and a half inches wide and they're perfect for use in uh, go bar deck uh, to, for clamping braces or if you're working uh, at your workbench um, for carving braces. This allows you to support the top or the back of the instrument uh, while you're working on it. Uh, very handy to have. I have um, multiple work boards for each top and back radius so that I can have one in the go deck and or two in the go deck maybe and then another one on my bench. And uh, be sure to check our website for the guitar shaped work boards. Uh, same idea. It's a radius work board, only cut down to the profile of a, a jumbo guitar enlarged by one inch. And it just allows uh, closer access um, towards the center of the dish, uh, perfect for those who don't want to use a go deck but may glue their braces with cam clamps. Um, another feature you'll notice on the dishes is the red cloth edging. And this uh, I think it makes the dishes look nice for one thing, but it also provides a, a bit of dent resistance. Uh, so if you're uh, setting the dishes on their edge on the floor or carrying them around, that kind of thing, um, unprotected MDF gets banged up pretty easily and the cloth just adds a, a little bit of resistance to that. Uh, also all the dishes are coated with uh, a couple layers of varathane finish. This provides a good moisture barrier and it also allows um, the sandpaper to, removed, to be removed from the dish and be replaced if required um, as cleanly as possible. If you glue anything to just straight MDF and then try and remove it, uh, you'll often pull out chunks of the, the MDF with it. So I want to just talk a little bit about the sandpaper on the dishes and this dish here has the black 50 grit paper. This is the standard paper I offer on my dishes. Um, you can see a piece of it here. This is a high quality cloth backed abrasive. Um, coated abrasive. This has a special anti-static coating on it. And it's, it's a really great high quality paper. Um, totally different than any kind of um, sandpaper that you'd buy in sheets for, uh, for use on your guitars. Um, when people hear that it's 50 grit, the first thing they say is, wow, isn't that pretty aggressive? And when the paper is brand new, it's true that the 50 grit is aggressive. But once it's been broken in, and I always suggest uh, customers take a block of hardwood before they use the dish on the guitar, just to, to take off the initial sharpness of the dish. 
Once the dish is broken in, it takes on more of a kind of a 70 grit, 60, 70 grit, somewhere in there. And a little, it will actually hold that level of sharpness for the life of the sandpaper. Um, I'm not 100% sure how long this paper will last, but I do know this is the same paper I've been using on my dishes for over 10 years, and I've built 100 guitars, and uh, it's still holding up quite well. Uh, the other paper I offer is the blue paper, which is a 60 grit. And you can see um, the 50 is a, it's a stiffer backed paper. Um, this paper only goes, um, or it, you can only get 50 grit paper um, in, in this weight of backing unless you, you do a special expensive custom order. But this paper here has, a, has what's called a J-weight backing, much more flexible. And I offer this paper uh, for use on dishes that are um, 12 foot radius. Uh, the black paper does not conform well to anything tighter than a 15 foot. So I recommend the blue paper for 12 foot radius or for people who are maybe going to use their dishes for a motorized uh, sanding application. Um, the 60 grit's just less aggressive, and if, if it's on spinning on a motorized um, system, you're just less likely to, to get tear out on the, the side of the guitar. Because of the wide variety of styles and sizes in uh, sanding dishes and work boards, uh, I always make them to order. It takes about uh, one week usually to fill an order depending on how many I have to do that week and uh, and any any of our st standard sizes are available in that time. I've also made a lot of custom dishes over the years and these include lar di large dishes. I've done dishes that are 30 inch diameter. I've done cylindrical dishes and work boards um, which only are, are radiused in one direction. And I've also done uh, convex, concave pairs of work boards that are used for uh, primarily laminating backs. So if you're interested in, in any of those options or, or need a, a dish um, for a certain project and, and can't find something available, please contact me. I'll let you know uh, if I can make it for you and approximately how long it'll take. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, CanadianLuthierSupply.com for some more unique jigs and fixtures, as well as Canada's largest selection of instrument grade mahogany and some other tone woods. Thanks for watching.